What's happening, Blades? So, <laughs> full disclosure, right? I started recording a, a very ranty review at something like 92 minutes. I stormed out of room. I thought, I'm not having this completely unacceptable performance from United. And obviously, then I'm getting updates on my phone and I can still eat TV. So I've recorded three, four minutes and I've had to jump up, run back into the room and eat humble pie really. So I were very gobby on Twitter tonight about how frustrated I was and I've, got, I've seriously got to look at myself in terms of, because now I've had time to reflect a little bit. I've watched post-match um, interviews from Egan and Norwood and, and Eki. I went by me about some at subs and Ultimately, that's one as game changing formation. Not one as game, but it's we've got a point from nothing there. Listen, I I, I think we were good for the first five minutes. The the goal changes the entire flow of the game. Um, silly mistake from Egan. It's not the first one he's done. I personally really rate Egan, um, but he's he's not quite at his peak at the moment and hasn't been at certain stages this season. He's been a bit patchy, uh, but with nobody else, Clark can now fill in there, we know that, but while we've not got a fit left centre-back, there's no true competition really. And I don't think Egan's place is, is really up in question, uh, if I'm honest. I did question Ender Stevens. Um, what, what are we doing playing Ender? He's gone as a player. Love him, fantastic servant, but he's gone. Same with Billy. I know we've no options at the moment, we're very limited. Uh, McBurney's injured, obviously Brewster's long-term. I think we need a striker in January, I don't think we're going to get one. Kadra's not in the squad, who I think would be a game-changer off the bench, but this, it looks like the decision's been made for him to potentially go back, whether that's us paying for him to go back or whether it's an agreement we've come to with Brighton for him to go back. If we don't have to pay to send Kadra back, then I think we need a, a lone striker in, in January. Cameron Archer would be my choice, but that's going off on a tangent. So tonight, I've gone by me, as I say, on uh, Twitter about some of subs. You know, he brings, uh, why is he bringing on Robinson? Um, oh, then you find out it's a Clark injury. So it's just because I, I think Robinson's always got a rook in him. We're already playing Ender. I'm playing Elk because I think, well, why ain't McAtee playing? It, it must have been man at match against Blackpool. Why, you know, Bogle had a fantastic impact. Um, against Blackpool for first half particularly and then obviously got took off on 60 minutes with, with fitness and things but I want I want to drop Bogle I, I didn't mind Bogle and I love Tommy Doyle so it's very easy for me to say mid-game why aren't McAtee and Bogle on so on reflection you've got to think a bit harsh that because there's not much else we could have done I didn't get why he took Baldock off um for Jebison, you know, why not take Ender off? If we're going to go to four at back, why not take Ender off and push Robinson out to left back? Um, and I, I probably stand by that, having said that, um, because I think obviously Baldock's a better player than Ender. But having said that, Ender's the one that's pulled the rabbit out of the hat for the assist. Um, so again, it's come to me, you know, I had, I had a pop at Billy when he scored two and two. I had a pop at Wes game that he he saved a penalty, and, um, and now I'm saying Ender's Ender's gone as a player, which I still think he has when he's the one that's provided the assist from nothing really to get us the goal, which I think we deserved because we pressed really well in the last 20 minutes. But for the a huge middle portion, we weren't good enough. Sander Berger, I know his quality, he, he's got quality, but. He was very poor tonight, very poor. As was Doyle. I can't, I can't defend Tommy Doyle tonight. I thought it was very rusty, but Sander Berger. I, I, I don't, I don't get why we're playing so deep. You know, if we've got Norwood and Doyle, why not have them sitting a bit deeper, and then have Sander further forward? That's the only element I don't get from it. But I think from what was going to be a very ranty ramble. <laughs> I'm now about Eki and why has he done this and why has he not done that? I thought Jebison looked very good uh, when he came on, very lively, in contrast to Billy. Um, oh, oh, I think, you know, 
less said the better, to be honest, because he's, he, again, he were involved in goal, in build up to goal, but he's largely absent for a lot of the, you know, he's not the goal threat that he, he once was, and we can't expect him to be at his age, but it just shows how limited we are, I think, at the minute. Um, it's going to suit us. I thought we looked leggy. Um, I know we haven't had that long since uh, World Cup break, but we've had a lot of games in a tight turnaround. Um, so I think it suits us to have a bit of a break. I know we've still got a game on Saturday, but it's in Cup, which we're not bothered about, if we're honest. You know, nine points clear with that draw. I would put the fringe players in as best we can. Um, I don't know if boys, who we've just recalled from Forest Green, would be fit to play at left wing back. I don't know if he's cup tied. I don't, if he's played in, in cup for Forest Green, then, then obviously can't play for us. But I think Jebo needs a start. I think I don't know where Blaster is with his fitness, but give, give Brooks a go. We like let's have Kadri in if he's not going back. We've got a bit of time now um, until Stoke game back at home. They're on an awful run of form. Lost again today. But you know we need to be better. Um, but them sort of points where you're playing poorly and let's be right we were poor tonight them sort of points i'm not going to say it out loud but you know what i'm I'm leaning towards that the very important points let's just say that i felt that coventry were a turning point in our season obviously since i've um last recorded we've gone from my last video which were buzzing because we're eight points clear we actually went to 11 and then we've dropped down to nine again so it's a little bit of Still really, really good. I think Borough are a huge concern. I'm, uh, I'm not happy with how they're steam rolling through through teams. We've still got them to play again, obviously. But there's a few things, obviously, now. So let me know what you think. Um, as I say, it's, this is me coming on and saying, I'm, I, by no means am I any sort of... I never claim to be an expert or anything like that. And I just vent my opinion. And if you agree, that's absolutely great. If not, then... You're happy to, I'm happy to go back and forth. I'm not always right. I just, this is what I think. Um, and tonight, I think Eki's proved me wrong. I still don't think long term these players are answer. I think I don't think Ender will be with us next season. I don't think Sharp will be with us next season. Um, but they're doing a job for us, you know. So, you know, it, that's why Eki's doing what he's doing, and, I, and I'm recording to my. 40 odd subscribers <laughs> so um hope you've had a great christmas happy new year to you all um let us know what you think in comments please like comment and subscribe more importantly and share with your friends but uh, happy new year as i say and up the blades <laughs>